Hello, I'm going to make a presentation that will change the way you think about the internal combustion engine. What you see on the picture here is a 20 horsepower engine that you can pick up and carry. And the equivalent legacy diesel engine of the same power output weighs about 200 pounds. Everyone knows the issues with uh, internal combustion engines. The emissions regulations are uh, becoming more stringent. Not only priority pollutants, but greenhouse gases. Fuel economy standards are being pushed higher and higher, and these engines uh, have issues such as noise that are also being regulated. The problem is the internal combustion engine hasn't really changed in its basic architecture in 120 years. Engine manufacturers react by making incremental changes and in doing so really avoid the opportunity uh, and of course they're avoiding a lot of development cost in uh, really solving these problems. And what that does is it leaves equipment builders, people have to incorporate these engines into their applications with very limited solutions. What liquid piston is doing is designing engines based on a radically different thermodynamic cycle. These engines are extremely efficient, very compact, and they have a lot of other benefits such as uh, their quiet performance. They can burn a variety of fuels with just changes to the uh, fuel input structure and control mechanism. I mentioned the small compact size, it also has 85% fewer parts. The company was founded in Bloomfield, Connecticut in 2004 and has a very experienced management team, many with uh, successful uh, exits, both in the um, startup and more advanced uh, private equity phases. We also have uh, two entrepreneurs who have um, also invested in the company and are active in the management. We have one patent granted, 14 already uh, pending, and more in the pipeline under development, all related to engine design. As far as go-to-market, we've prepared uh, a, a strategy with our target markets, and we have many partners lined up to help us in the uh, incorporation of our engine into their applications. And we have been successful up till now in raising the funding that we needed and we're now in the process of raising our Series B funds in the amount of $15 million. So this is our engine. Uh, it's a 20 horsepower engine. Today it's uh, firing on gasoline fuel. And by uh, the beginning of the summer, we hope to be functioning on uh, diesel with compression ignition. This is the uh, dynamometer for testing. And this engine uh, has seen significant runtime already and we've uh, optimized the performance on gasoline very rapidly. It took us eight months to go from art to part, which in the engine development world is almost unheard of. Now what I was saying about efficiency is illustrated here. Traditional engines, typically at low load where you're normally operating, are only 15 to 17 percent efficient. And our engine has a very flat efficiency curve about 50% across the full range, whereas the best of the best diesel engines today are only 42% efficient. So we intend to continue development of uh, high efficiency engines, some of which will sell directly into the marketplace and through third party manufacturing and others that we will license the technology to engine manufacturers. We're focusing on a couple of applications for traction uh, auxiliary power units and gensets, and series hybrid uh, applications as a range extender for electric vehicles. So these are an illustration of some of the target applications, and we have partner opportunities and partner NDAs signed up in all of these areas. This is an illustration of our engine coupled with an electric generator, and this is a typical application that we would use in, for example, an anti-idling device on a heavy-duty truck to allow this engine to be incorporated 
uh, so that the main engine can be shut down and the truck can use this auxiliary power unit to run functions like heating, cooling, and electricity rather than idling. Uh, this has significant advantages both in fuel and payback for uh, trucks. Uh, the legislation that's uh, unfolding state by state uh, for anti-idling is um, increasing. And there's uh, a great opportunity because only 10% of the trucks today are uh, incorporating these devices. And we can shrink the size of this device to become an OEM uh, option for these trucks. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, we're well on our way to commercialization. Uh, we believe we'll be cash flow positive in 2014 uh, with significant revenues uh, in five years. And right now, as I mentioned, we're seeking our Series B of $15 million. We have a very seasoned team and uh, we have a working model. Come see us for an engine simulation, booth 406. You can actually see how this engine runs. Thank you.